Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Drop them all, man. Another, you might as well call me Butterfingers, I guess. No, I'm not trying to blame you, but boy, buddy, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you badly damaged from Jimmy just dropping you? Are you, seriously, are you okay? Oh, hold on, the eyeball. The, the, hold on. There you go, there you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. But you are all right. Oh. You love this food floor here for some reason. I don't, I didn't know it was glass. I thought it was plastic. It doesn't matter. You still, yeah. you got the drops, man. All right. The, the good thing is the eye is still intact. Thank God. Oh, God, give, give me two minutes. He'll destroy that now. No, because, because you're going to handle it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I mean, I, I'll, I'll ask Jimmy, you. Jimmy, two, zero. I'll ask a question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two, zero, right. I'll ask a question, but I won't. My pocket is bad. My pocket's bad news. Yeah, these can't really be uh, They're back. too small. Uh, uh, well, it says it's okay anyway. So. But of course, once they come back to the dollar zone, I'll buy more. Well, I better buy backup, actually. If you like to get attached to a certain one, it gains energy. Well, the them. hand. Remember the hand I gave you? That's made out of uh, steel or aluminum. That won't. That won't break. Well, yep. if, if you have it. <laughs> Oh Lord! I don't know. Don't I don't know. I, I mean, I could swing it, but I, 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 I'm not going to put it in my pocket. All I had to say was, <laughs> you have your area. Oh, where I went? Oh, gee, gee, it's in my pocket. Hold on, hold on. And I go and pull it out, and it, it flies up in the air. What do you want to know about your two X weirdo? Oh no, we were talking about like on, online dating. Well, and you watch said about your two ex wackos. What do you want to know about either one? They're both. Well, they're both Capricorns. Doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it's. Um, Doesn't um, really matter. Okay. Well, they're they're known for being complex, mysterious people. Capricorns. Be mean, you know. so these two exes, two whack jobs. I call them are both Capricorns. Does that matter? See what I mean? It doesn't matter. No, I just met two people with issues. They just happen to be careful. That's all that is. It's a coincidence, yeah. That's all it is. Ooh. Maybe you got all nervous with me. No, maybe it's because we were outside and it was humid. No, because you'd be adrenaline from dropping. What else do you want to know? Should I get a strawberry milkshake from this place right now? You don't need that to tell you. If you <laughs> want one, get one. <laughs> I'm only kidding. When I'm not, if you want one, get yeah, one. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't pick it up. That's well, why I didn't. No, that's not why you didn't pick You, pick, you didn't pick it up because you'll drop it again. Because you would have you said. I'd say no. You would have said, James, are you for real? No, you're you're going to swing the, it down. You're going to waste the amulet's time you on whether you should get it. You're determined to destroy it. <laughs> no, I don't want to be determined because... As long I noticed the eyeball is still intact and I'm not gonna mess with it. <laughs> but if I see more I What do you wanna know? What do you wanna know about your two X? You know what? I think this we've exhausted the, the no, subject. We haven't asked many questions. Yeah, but we we kinda like had an intelligent conversation about in law online dating. Be honest, and, you know, there's no shame, you just really don't want to know a lot about these days. 
Well, it's kind of pass, passe, you know what I mean? It's like water under the bridge. And you already told me the same. Yeah. Well, well, you you said the same thing that the caregiver said that. Uh, it's like Dr. Da David Rubin, I think his name. My friend Jimmy. My friend Jimmy Madonna being completely foolish for meeting these damn girls online. There you go. Oh man. I think. Don't worry. When I see more, I'll, I will buy an extra supply because I know my luck in having my bad luck in having butterfingers. So I will. What do they have these for over there? As what? As old as what? Keychains, but I would not disrespect them and use it as a keychain. No. As you can see, the ring. I think they. Um, because I recognize what they were. Now the hand, the, the one I gave you that's a hand, that's heavy duty uh, no, ancient it history like too. It almost looks like a little alien, if you think about it. Yeah, well. It's not really a hand so much as a real little being, a creature. You know what's fascinating? That, oh, oh, what's going on? We need, we need it down there or something. Big deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're getting hammered by a tropical storm. Tonight? Is what he's saying. Tonight? I think it might be starting tonight. I could see the clouds. They're getting very uh, cumulus, bilious. What do you want to know? Anything? Um, oh. Normal, normally, July and August are very dry months. Is all this rain due to climate change? That's what you want to know. Well, the, the, uh, the North, despite what Republicans say, the North Pole is melting. The well, polar ice cap. The Republicans, I don't think, are saying that's only a certain ignorant few of the Republican Party. Trump didn't believe it. They kiss his guy in the ass for some reason. Yeah, and, and he's really siding with Putin in every against his own nation. The Republican Party today, nowadays, I mean, are they entirely and completely ignorant? We went right into that, yes, didn't we? You know how many Republican congressmen and senators are pissed off at Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. And they're getting more pissed off as the... But they don't say it to show us. They're afraid to speak up, so that's not good. Most mm -hmm. He He actually went against his own Secret Service to side with Putin. The FBI, the whole thing. To side with Putin. Well, I already settled that. <laughs> Does, now, does Putin and yeah. Russia have something huge that he's holding against Trump? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, sir, I already knew that. Uh, um, Billy, did you know that there's a photograph of Donald Trump Jr. with that Russian woman that they caught being a spy? Um, I forgot her name. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the woman. The woman. Yeah. Well, the point is, he's lies. <laughs> yeah. She learned to ask questions, right to the point. Is Trump, Donald Trump, a chronic liar? See how you get to the point? I, I heard his mother really coddle him big time. Well, well all, all the millionaires and billionaires of, of New York City know him very well. You told me that. They said he's he's a he's a conniving con artist, basically. Oh, no, no, the one Gary Gold said he's a total fake. Fake. 
He's the front man for consortium, is what he said. Consortium, a front man for consortium, yes. Consortium. This consortium. Oh. It is Donald Trump. Simply put, one huge fake. Why do you think he won't show his tax returns? Oh, he still hasn't. He still hasn't shown his tax return. Holy mackerel! Is that Joseph? <laughs> or am I like imagining things? <coughs> Might be. Looks like the back of his head. But why would he be wearing black in 90 degrees? Well, he's Joseph. That's why. Yeah. Here for your funeral. You mean his own funeral? Yours. <laughs> I don't recognize him without the vest. Oh, that vest. It looks like somebody's grandmother crocheted it. It looks like he got it from Goodwill Industries. That's the best he's ever looked. Actually, if that's him, that is the best he's ever looked. Oh, no, it's not him. Well, there you go. The best he's ever looked, it's not him. So no, I was, I was close about one thing. Oh, yeah. Same size, same hair, same head shape. Yeah. You can tell by the shape of the head. Mm. Mm. Uh, I miss that guy that used to say, "You gotta like the way you look." I guarantee it. I thought I thought it was uh, it was stupid guy, to fire him. The guy from the uh, uh, most exciting guy in the world, the original. The first Dos, Dos Equis, Equis, yeah. The original, the They're guy. Not with even the, showing the second one hardly at all. No, the guy with the big schnozzola. Like they throw him into the wayside, like he's not being effective or something. Something wrong. They're not using. He's mo probably not getting results. They're not using the gimmick "most interesting man alive," but he was the best. The guy with the gray beard. He was the number one Dos Equis man. The second spokesman for Dos Equis beard, known as the most interesting man in the world. The second one. Is he, is he getting great results for Dos Equis at all? Well, they probably canned him. I think you should be hired as the next Dos Equis man. The first one, the first spokesman for Dos Equis, did he get great results for them? You know, you, you know, I tried that beer. The, uh, it's great. It's actually, it's actually one of the best tasting uh, Mexican beers I've ever had. Probably well, made him wrong. <laughs> and I tried them all when I was in Baja. Well, there's a lot of beers we don't even know are out. There. Yeah, there's Pacifico. There's, uh, there's a whole well, the bunch. The worst of them. was Jamaican Red Stripe. It's oh my sucks. God! You know who's worse than Red Stripe is. Uh, Venezuelan polar with well, the polar bear uh, in the front. Try mother's milk. God, is that that should be illegal? So it's like a real low budget crappy beer. No, it's like Robitussin times ten or twenty. That bitter and horrible. You, you know there are there are a group of so called craft beer connoisseurs that actually like India Pale Ale. I, I said, you know, you really like that? Any beer with India on it is going to be bad. But it's like, it has that musky, skunky, it's all right? And anything Indian is awful. Now, the lager you liked. That's not Indian, though. That's not Indian Pale Ale. It's not Indian. When it's out said Indian, I knew exactly what it would taste like, and it did. I said, this is going to be awful, and it was. Yeah. And, and, and for four dollars and forty nine cents, that Genesee Cream Ale is a great bank yeah, but bargain. India, India. That was a good, that was a smart thing that I used to bring you the bottles in the cooler, so you already got it ice cold. It was cold, and, and, then, and you have a, you have a fridge in your refrigerator, no freezer, but a refrigerator. Okay. Yeah. Or not even a little baby freezer on top, just oh, okay. It's only this big. It's like a crammed. And... <laughs> well, that was the ice box. <laughs> yeah, this is the ice box too, but no freezer. Oh my God. What was it? Was Ralph gave Alice for Christmas a, a new pan for the ice box? I think that was one one of the episodes. He, he used to give her something about what if his idea was product. We're gonna move up to Fifth Avenue, get a penthouse, 
You look around and yeah, this furniture will look pretty good in that penthouse. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm telling you, this will look pretty good in there. Park Avenue. Remember the furniture? They had one little uh, dresser drawer. So, and and she, when ice she, box and that little tiny sink in the kitchen. And when she could, no television, of course, no radio. And when she caught, no telephone. Yeah, I said that. Well, television came television. later when they had Captain Video. Yeah, but 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 Norton had pretty wallpaper, a TV, a phone. Like he was like if somebody had to get a hold of Ralph, they he would give him Norton's number, and then Norton would stick his head out the fire escape. Ralphie <laughs> boy, we got a call from. It was so funny. So funny. I wonder what Crystal's up to. Oh God. I'll be pregnant again. She needed to get knocked up like she needed a hole in the Third head. Third time. Are you out of your mind? No, how, are you, how come people that are down and out don't use contraception? I always wondered that. They don't do it. They have baby after baby. And I wonder how little Courtney is. Is she bigger? Has she lost weight? I wonder what she looks like. Right? I wonder if she got more tattoos and, and body piercings. Oh, no, Courtney. Oh, oh Courtney, yeah. yeah I wonder. Remember how, how it was weird that Brian used to take her out to his car? Yeah. That guy? You never see him at all anymore. Never. Since she stopped She's working here? here. But didn't you think that was weird for, to take did. a child to his car? I never hear when, when uh, Chris was not here. No, man, no, I'm saying the very fact that you're taking a young girl, young, to your car well, and then coming back. It can be weird. Maybe it was nothing. I don't know. Don't, let's kind of not go judging a guy off of that. Let's be honest. Well, in this day and age, it's... Mm, yeah, we're quick to judge. Everything is sexual. You know, it's not always. Predators, yeah. So, it was also weird that she won't let me drop her off at home. I had to drop her off on a corner. Garibaldi, even the two uh, Bangladeshi girls thought that was hilarious. They were laughing. They said, she really did that? I go, yes, yes, yeah. She never, she didn't want me to know where she lived. Almost like that every guy is, gonna, is a stalker. Every guy wants her. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Don't flatter yourself, honey. Yeah, I, I, I would never do that. I'm not trying to be rude, but I would never do that. That's really paranoid about men. And she must have real, she must have real daddy issues. Yeah, what have you gotten out of three, three kids? Uh, I, you know, maybe she had the baby because maybe she did go to Rochelle Park and find out if she get, she has Another kids. Another way, just more and more support, money. Like the Octomom, the reality yeah, show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I, you know what? Chris got a lot of baggage. An, another big lie is how how the uh, how ICE and the, the detention centers oh, are really please. not, yeah. That's just bullshit. They're not treating... That's our, that's our great government, huh? Yeah. They're not treating them properly at all. These now the keys are questions you should be asking, Jimmy. Oh, God, don't drop it, please. No, don't even play with it. Don't play with no, it. No, no, no. Now. Stop the swing. Amulet. No, don't. You don't have to do that. Are, are the people that be, are being detained by ICE and immigration near the Mexican border, are they being abused in different ways? So, the Trump administration is even lying about that. No, no, they're not denying it. The reports have been out about it, but they're not denying it. bad things are going on. No. Um, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, is she basically wasting tax money by her job? So she doesn't really shoot from the hip and be honest. That. Yeah. yeah, well, her father is that religious freak, uh, Mike Huckabee, that evangelical. The spokesman for Trump, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Does she tell the truth or even, like Jimmy says, speak from the hip when questioned? 
It's all a cover up. Bullshit. He's an excuse maker. Wanna go? Yeah. Because your girl's not coming. I guess my, my sister's probably long gone by now, so there won't be anybody to aggravate me. Why won't she do? She just complained about that nobody dusts around here. Nobody dusts nobody does. Nobody does the dusting, nobody cleans enough, nobody, you know. You know, stuff like that. I says I says to her You gotta have incentive and you have to be in the right frame of mind to be dusting and and do vacuuming and doing stuff like that around the house. If you're depressed and you have crap happening in your life. You Why? Don't... Are you depressed? Yeah, I'm. I'm are you depressed? I'm, I'm, Seriously, I'm, are you depressed or just sad? There's a difference there. No, no. I, I the, my doctor says depression can make a person feel tired and exhausted. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'm. So you're I, not thinking suicide I, or anything. No, no, no. I'm, I, I, I honestly believed that I had all these future plans that are, that were going to happen. I honestly believed it, and then it was like whammo. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, and the, the caregiver said to me that she has been lied to by relationships too, and all of a sudden, whammo, disappointment. Okay. You want to ask if you do have depression? Do you mind? No, you can ask. It's not be ashamed of me. No, it's it's common. A lot of people have it. I know. Very common. Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. Because of what my friend Jimmy Madonna is going through, is he suffering from depression? No, you're not. That's why I said, are you sure it's depression or maybe just sadness? It's a big difference, Jimmy. It's like, like there's a difference between dementia and Alzheimer's and senility. Okay, so sadness would be more like in mourning, like well, like mourning. You feel a little down. But you feel down. Depression, you go in the fetal position, you feel totally helpless. You can't even some people are suicidal. Well they, well, they do commit suicide. Or like some people are really just fun. Just confusing sadness with depression. Okay. Well, you're glad you got me as a goddamn friend. I'm sending you straight well, a lot of well, shit. Well, you're, you're a shrink. You're like my shrink. Uh, I'm better than your shrink. He wouldn't. No, you, I said, I, are you sure you're real? What is the first thing I said to you? Are you sure you're really depressed or just sad? Yeah, See some shrink. I get right to the point. You know, you know, my mother's social worker was no. never that intuitive like you are. That's what she said. So, so we got man god uh, Anunnaki with. Can you imagine the shingle in my mouth? Man god. Anunnaki. Yeah. Anunnaki descendant with amulet. With amulet. Yes, Jimmy, I'm not trying to make light of this. Is he just sad because of all the crap he's going through? Yeah, because I really loved him. I, yeah, I really am, and I still do love her. Who? You know, your mom? No, my no, the, oh, the girl. Oh, I thought we were talking about your mom and your sadness. And no, all. I know. Of course, I'm sad yeah. to watch her grow older and decline. Of course, I am. No, I mean about about the disappointment. So what happened with the it's ex? A no, but, Which one? No, the last. San, your wife? No, San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a quick disappointment. It was like a whammo, you know, like. You know, it's like surprise uh, and shock to the system, but you're better off. Yeah, shock. I mean, shock. Is my friend Jimmy much better off without this girl from San Diego? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I got a question. Is the the, the great brain of man god um, better than professional therapy? Well, I mean, is he a form of professional therapy? Maybe I should say that, not no, better. Maybe just a man anybody's fool. Well, you're a sharp cookie, you're intuitive. <clears throat> Am I anybody's fool? No, because you, your dad taught you a lot, that's why. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I hope to God the asshole in Ridgewood didn't take your father's urn. 
Your father's urn. In Ridgewood? Your, your father's remains. I'm not in Ridgewood anymore. No, I mean, I hope he didn't, like, confiscate that. I'm not in Ridgewood, though. No, no, I'm saying you still have your father's urn. That's Hasbro Kite. You said in Ridgewood. No, no, I'm saying you, st you still have your father's... Oh, yeah. You said Ridgewood. That was six, seven years ago. Oh, okay. That's okay. what I was wondering. What are you saying? I, you know, yeah. Yeah, and you were tell you told me the story about um, yeah. extended extended stay in America has people that stay there two and a half three years or more or more. Like the longer you stay, the more reasonable it is generally. I don't know how that works. You have to ask that, but they'll give you special rent on what you plan to stay months or whatever, and they'll make it down there for you. So right. Long term. Yeah. Because it's basically a studio apartment when you when you think about well, it. Well, yeah, it's a very big room, and you have a full kitchen. Yeah, with a full-size refrigerator. Full-size. And refrigerator freezer, yeah. Full-size, yeah. Got some cabinets, you got an electric a stove. Cabinets, you got a, a microwave. Electric stove. A, a stove top with like four burners, but no stove to go into. Oven, nice. Unless they, they redid them, maybe they do now, I don't know, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, Maybe's but I, I, I very, yeah, I very, But then rarely. again, if you ever go up there, or any of them, tell them to show your room. I very rarely ever use an oven. Well, but let me show you. They'll give you a tour. Let's go. Yeah. You don't want this? No, I'll keep it because I'm. Right, thanks. It's I gonna like butter. It. I'm gonna butter finger it to to I'll oblivion. Bring, I'll bring it every day. Then, all yeah, right. keep it in your car. No, you know, treat it with respect. And when I see when I see more, I buy more. Well, actually, uh, you, that hand. It's not as heavy, but it's probably not gonna shatter. When Jimmy dropped. You, Four or five pieces broke off. True. Should Jimmy just throw those pieces out? Well, I don't know what to do with them. Be quiet, Jimmy. Okay. I want to make sure. What okay. Do you okay. Throw them out. Because yeah, they're slivers. And I said, Have you, are you hurt? I said, no. Mm. See, I just want to get things settled. Yeah, all right. Nothing wrong with that. We got to author... Let's we find out the truth. We have authorization. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. Holy mackerel, Eileen, is that much of a fibber? Fibber McGee. She just... Does Eileen have all these so-called home health aides coming over to, to visit her in her apartment? Yeah, like 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 the things of value she has in that heavy purse of hers. Nobody stole anything. You know, her this her guy stole this. This guy stole that. I'm her, not listening. Her way her way of cleaning out her purse is throwing out two expired coupons. Remember what I said yesterday? How did I how did how did I say you were odd when you didn't even talk to us? You were huddled in the goddamn corner. You and Ray jumped up within 20 seconds. You ran up to each other. After Ray, what? You say you ran up because I said you were odd. I wasn't even talking about it. But do you, you know how I, you know when I got suspicious? When Ray started going from being loud and obnoxious to whispering. Well, that's what I just said there, whispering in the corner. And yeah. then they run out. And right. I said that, you know, I didn't even talk to you. So where did you get off in this odd thing? She shot right up when I asked the ambulance. Did I, I, did I say Eileen was odd? I said no. You did not. I was sitting here. You did not. One thing is, I don't use. I rarely use the word "odd" anyway. It's not one of the words I use. No, but you just you did. You didn't even use the synonym a lot. You didn't. You didn't use anything derogatory. Personally, you just said, "Look I at her." I don't know about Joseph. Not even he's not here. He's probably giving a speech. You know, it's amazing. You got a tan even from walking to the to the room no, to I the car. I've been out. Yeah, I, I swear you got a you have a color. I always do. Everybody says, "How do you tan so quick?" I said, "I don't know. I always do." Look, I know. My wrist. No, look at your look, face. Look at the wrist. Right, exactly. And I don't go out. Unless I'm not out. Which shows you how strong the sun has become yeah. with climate change. And oh, wait, what do you want to know about Joseph? Joseph, I, he's confusing to me. I don't know. I what do you What do you want to ask? Him? So. I know he's he's rude and ill-mannered as all hell. I know that. The gentleman, the Chinese gentleman we know here at McDonald's, uh, Joseph, is he incredibly rude and ill-mannered? Oh. Look at that. 
Uh, is it an Asian culture thing? Overall, for the most part, uh, uh, most Asians are very unemotional and cold. I told you, what do I call it? Asian cold. Did, did you know that, like, um, a friend of mine from the Philippines that's working in Bangladesh says that the, the people, not the women, but the men in India and Bangladesh and Pakistan, a lot of them are are, at, are just assholes and they just have this arrogant yeah. personality. So it could be it could be an it could be an overall Asian they thing. Just said it, Jimmy. Yeah. They just said it. For the most part they all are. Yeah. Well I'm trying to distinguish no, one over, part of Asia from another. No, overall encompasses all. So. Mm -hmm. They're just that's why I call it, I don't call it Japanese cold or I said or Chinese cold. cold. Yeah. That encompasses all. Yeah, it's like matters. They have no emotion. And they don't seem to have any remorse for how, like the guy that tried to cut ahead of you online. That's oh, more. He, 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 uh, he's barred from more places. And then over here at the sub he was kicked out. He stole somebody's phone there. You're kidding me. You know, and they told him, they, he denied it. They said, we've got you on camera. Oh my God. And they said, don't you ever come in here. He's barred from that. Now. I don't blame him. He stole somebody's phone, and he denies it, and he's right there with all the cameras, taking it as big as you please. Hey, he's a petty theft. And that's the one, Thief. that's what cut in front of us. I said, you've got some sort of ball, boy. Get to the back of the line, man. <laughs> that little laugh, but yet he still stays there. Oh, he, most people would say, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, no, he didn't even apologize. He stayed there. And he left and he said, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that was like a sarcastic thank you laugh. What he, what he needs to do is, is say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut ahead of you. I just said that. I just said he should have said, I'm sorry, gotten back in line. And they were repeating, Jimmy. Well, I want, the, I want the universe to know it by re echoing it. You can it. tell the universe, but don't tell me a second time. Jeez. He's a jerk. That's all you can say. You know, now he's barred from another. Place. Now he barred from another. Place. You know what's amazing that we have Governor Phil Murphy, right? I, I know he's a Democrat, but he's an ex-Wall Street guy like Corzine. I, you would think that since he's a compassionate, quote unquote, so-called Democrat, he would bring back rent subsidy Section Eight. You know, you know what my uh, my mother's insurance um, representative said: there's not enough housing to go around with for low-income people. There's just not enough housing. I says, well, then Democrats have have f a false compassion because if they really had. The guy we have is the governor of New Jersey. Let's get a quick that we have as our governor in New Jersey. It's Phil Murphy. Is he any good as a governor? There's your ass. Yeah. Baby. It's good to get it settled quick. Man, he sucks. See, bring back Florio. That's what I said. Even, even the even the gay Jim McGreevy was I like, was a pretty good governor. He did a lot. Well, he did a lot for peep for people. You know. You might as well bring back Florio. My God, that moron. Oh, Christine Whitman. Oh. We haven't had many. No. New Jersey's a complex state. It's too much, too many. There's nothing complex. It's just why it's so corrupt. Be so corrupt. Why? Too much political corruption. Why? Law too many lawyers and the, the hands in the pot. Why? Why is it allowed to happen? Why does somebody do something about it? You know, when I used to go fishing, which I gave up for for good reason. You know, how, they want you to get a permit for every damn thing in New Jersey to catch bait. To catch they bait. They stop kids from selling lemonade for not having. Food. You're kidding me. No. I didn't know that. It's stupid. Lemonade stands? Holy shit. How petty is that when well, you that's think? That's my point. It doesn't make sense. There's nothing to argue. The point no. is to tell, say, let it go. End of argument. Let them, let them open. Stop it. You need a permit. You don't need jack shit. They're kids. Then you're going to say health code violations. They may get the kids shit as well. You let us know when somebody gets sick, okay?
You know they stopped the um, the uh, buffets in Las Vegas from donating the food, some of the food to the homeless? For what? Because they're, they're afraid, sick? And, and they're going to sue them. They're afraid of getting sued. How ridiculous. Why were you worried before about that? You know, why now are you worried? Why wouldn't you worry before? Right. It's not bad food. It's not rancid food. I'll settle this real quick. You know I do not like our legal system when you build, right? Is our system here in the United States and even state by state worth a damn? There's your answer. You know, to the point. you know, Billy, they did it. They did say one thing at the end of the uh, at the end of the program. I think it was 60 minutes. They said that one or, one or two of the casinos was selling the 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 mushy buffet food to the pig farmers in in uh, Nevada for slop. That there you go. They instead of donating it and getting a tax write off, they're selling it. That's not feeding the homeless. No, they, I'm sure the soup kitchen. I oh, for God's sakes, Los Angeles has a bad skid row. I saw it on TV. It's just wrong. People it's living in life. tents and, and bo cardboard boxes. And it's just wrong. This shouldn't be a skid row. This shouldn't be any skid row in the United States. Yeah, right. Skid terrace. So what, what's to stop the uh, giant Gabriel reality from screwing anybody you're having a subsidized apartment when you think about it uh, some people uh, like me that want to uh, board the sooner yeah i mean I I, jackie do what you can it's a hurt them because you're willing I say, yeah you bet i am i want to sue yeah is the application like a state application oh, i don't know i don't, just, no. I don't bother that stuff no but you said the office is not far away it's right by the fireplace Huh. Where would you go? Sue. I can say. Could I pursue my, my lawsuit and she gave you a real thing? That's a big swing. Should I go after them tooth and nail like the pure hellfire? You know, see how quick you get the answers? There's no better way to... I tell people like even Madison, get your point. And Make your point, and it, please. And there's no better way to hit John Gabriel where it hurts the most. In the bank account. I don't care if it hurts him big time. I hope it does. Because I don't give a rat's ass. He can go fuck himself for a while. Yeah, and you might, still, you might still have a um, litigation against the, the city of uh, Ridgewood. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't want to get out of this. I wonder what kind I'll of a you, lawyer. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm very intolerant. Of what kind of a lawyer would handle lawsuits like that? I'm trying because I know they they specialize. And you know that I'm very sick and tired and fed up with all the bullshit. Am I wrong? Look at that, Jimmy. Wow, look at that. A big no. Do I have a whole lot and much more insight than most others? There you go. Very intuitive man. Always have been. And you know what's funny? When all the all the cock and bull stories that Eileen tells, when that oh, thing when that thing she moves shuts right up. No, she says that thing is wrong and a piece of junk, remember? Yeah, four dollar tour. But we but we have to believe what Eileen says. Yeah, but it says everything about you, you being a hoarder. We didn't know, but it said you were, and then you said, Oh, I keep things I like it, my and My brother does it. Well, I don't know, maybe he doesn't. And then everything she said has been right. Everything you said and, is wrong and a lie. And then she t I, she told me, I said, Why did you have to borrow a broken pencil from them when you had a pen in your purse? She goes, Yeah, you're right, James. I have a pen in my purse. I said, Well, why didn't you go get it? Let's, I'm surprised she made an appointment with Dr. Regalosa. Let's see if she goes to Rochelle Park. What's his name? Dr. Rigolosi. It's a he. He. Rigolosi. Dr. Ronald Rigolosi, yes. Our friend and acquaintance out here at McDonald's will feed the girl, Eileen. Did she honestly make an appointment with Jimmy's doctor, Dr. Rigolosi? Oh, then she belongs in an institution, man. 
If she if she lied to me and looked me in the eye about that, she belongs in this. I'm sorry. She's off her, her rocker. If somebody is that bad of a pathological liar, that's... Well, that's tell the truth. No, I didn't yet. No, I didn't yet. Well, you heard what I told her? I gave you that card. That's the last time I'm going to give you his number. Don't ask for me again. Again, I'm not, I'm not playing, you know, like mind games. Those are our acquaintance here, Eileen. Does she lie through her teeth about an incredible amount of things? There you go. Oh, she's a sicko. And and I bet even Joseph lies about his seminars to a certain degree. The other gentleman we know, the Asian Chinese gentleman, Joseph. Is he telling Jimmy and I the entire truth about his seminars? Oh boy. Yo, Jimmy. You're fucking with us, man. We're not that stupid. Stop the lying shit. You know, life could be so much easier if you if you're just friggin' honest all the time. I mean, what's wrong with being People honest? People say about voice of course to do more voice of <laughs> Trying to get an agent, it's all full hard. It doesn't make sense. How, are you, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to? Well, not necessarily. Well, why are you lying? Not necessarily. Why are you lying? Right. That's the bottom line. Well, I mean, there's it, no argument. It, why are you lying? It's not necessarily getting an, a Lyft or an Uber to Midtown Manhattan. How are you supposed to be walking around with your knees? Walking to the agency and walking to the to the job site. That's not the point. The point is, at least I tell the truth. I'm looking for an agent. It's not that easy in this interview. Well, Stupid yeah, industry. Yeah. Well, you, you could get to, an Uber when you're in you the you city. Have to that doesn't matter. The point is, you have to be referred to. You can't just mail your demo. And that's stupid. Because my, my referral or whatever will not be doing the, the, the demo, the, the voiceover. I will be. So why do I need to be referred to? Am I good or am I not? That's all I need to know. And you know you know what your audition is? A simple phone call. That's all. That Let's phone that you have. Let's do it. You know? as, soon, as soon as you... As soon, I, as soon as you get on the phone with an agent, he hears your voice they immediately. They don't listen. That's the industry. That's my, all I just said. You know, I told you what. When I told you how small actor the, the movie industry yeah. is. But, but I, 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 I but I did I tell you what was in the Screen Actors Guild manual when Tiny wanted to do commercials? Don't, don't contact us. Don't oh, send us any photos. No, no, Jimmy, they all say that. It's all bullshit. Don't phone. Don't send. Don't do that. Well, what can you do? Well, they have scouts that go out. It's got, it's got to be a referral. That's like, that sounds is like... The, is the entire entertainment industry a total load of bullshit when it comes to trying to get an agent? Now it's settled. There's no argument. See how quick? Okay. Refer referrals. It sounds like the office politics and that... Tiny had no talent. He was just going on that stupid image with his little... His beard and bald head and skinny arms like that. Well, you know thing. who contacted him? Only one agency, the J. Michael Bloom Agency in, in Manhattan. The only one that ever contacted him. And what, did he, what did he do from that? He did like an MCI commercial and this other commercial. That's it, huh? And that was it. And then it, it kaput. It well, stopped. Well, being the size he was too, his voice didn't help. He sounded almost like a white Tyson. Or your friend Bob Brian Moore. No, the both of them have bad speaking voices. They're total turtles. It's like it's like having mumbles. Jo Joseph doing a seminar. Joseph can't even fucking shave. Yeah. J. Michael Bloom. It's like the politics that screwed you when you were a quarterback in football. Oh, God. It, why does why does success in the United States should not have to be dependent? on office politics, favoritism, cronyism, or referral. But sadly, that's the human being. Or thing. referrals. It should be based on merit. Sadly, the entire nature of the human being is a total load of bullshit, isn't it? Look how big and how fast. Yeah. You know, the aliens that, the, the big extraterrestrial experiment that we are, I bet the aliens are looking at us like, oh my God, what did we create? They could be laughing. They were here before we were here. 
Oh my God, what did we create? We're the Anunnaki. Visiting an and here on Earth long before even man, they put us here. You know what's going to be great? There is a video and audio recorded of everything ever done throughout history. Wow. There's no documentary that says that. I said that. I believe in that. I believe the Anunnaki have recorded everything before they put man here. And the ambulance says, yes. And I, and I bet the greatest percentage of things that mankind has done was, was evil and negative. Is the entire history, even before man was put here on Earth by the Anunnaki, is it recorded visually and audibly? They're not advanced for... That's not all. That's not all. I'm making it. It's wait till they release it sometime, and that can be seen. You can see dinosaurs yeah. in actual action. You know, yeah. It's like this prehistoric man. Uh, the first signs of, of human life on Earth are them yeah. putting us here for the first time. Well, Think yeah, about that. Well, stuff. I'm saying they're not in... They're not such an advanced civilization for nothing. They, 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 they have... People the, said, you think they've been here? I said... I said, Hotshot, how do you think they got you? By being primitive? Maybe I said, use your head. Maybe the races and our very creation, period, was due to the Anunnaki. I just said that. The Anunnaki are the ones who put us here. Dude, I gotta repeat for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I like echoing man god. Yeah, I know. Man god man god's supposed to echo. Was it the, a the, the supposedly superior alien race, the Anunnaki? Who first put man, created mankind here on Earth? Akanuki. No, Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Respect. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I just think Nuki is a funny word. It's not. It's Anunnaki. Anunnaki, right. Well, it's the last name of their race, their being. But we're the, the reason they're here. The Sumerians were the first to mention it. No, they were put here by the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki created man. Yeah. You're ready right for it. Sumerian. I'm, I'm just saying, they always mention the Sumerian people. Well, they mention all the others. The Anunnaki put man on Earth, didn't they? There you go, Jimmy. See? There you go. I, I did some more research on the uh, the blue eye. It does have ancient ancient origins. Well, that's why I respect it. It's not yeah. trying to be funny around. It's always be honest and sincere. You wouldn't make fun with a Ouija board, would you? No, not really. Have you have you have you tried to um, use the um, the rock crystal as a, as an amulet yet? Or? Oh, you you have the dental floss on it, right? No, the one you brought. This thing. It's the yellow one, yes. And it spins good for you. Yeah, it just spins very well. Because you got a long one. But still, the dental floss is better because it's thinner. It gives more, lets it swing more freely. Yeah, because light is light. But I'm saying yours is long. So now, remember how you were holding it wrong? Yeah. Right. I said, is Jimmy holding you entirely wrong? I said, yes. But, but not my broken one. I mean the one that, that you the ordered. One. Oh, that swings good. But I mean the other one, the new one. Oh, the one, that, oh, the, the one that's very polished and you pointed. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's, that's the one I have done. When you said that, the crystal, I yeah. thought you meant the Now, the so, obelisk. I should have said the obelisk. Let's go. Come on. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.